Hey everybody! Um... Hi. Uh... I've got a little over an hour till my radio show starts. Or a little under an hour. Kind of. Because I have to leave early. Because I have to be down there to do my show. Anyway. But... Um... There's so much Stephen Fry love all over my dash right now. And I just can't... I'm not patient enough to wait until later and write up everything about how amazing last night was. And in case you haven't already noticed but what I've been posting in the last, like, 12 hours or so, um, I was there last night at the thing that everyone's reblogging about. The, uh, he received an award from Harvard for Lifetime Achievement in Cultural Humanism and did a huge long talk on humanism and life in general and Stephen Fry is my hero and if I'm ever one tenth as articulate as he is and wonderful and genius and brilliant my life will be fantastic um so basically it was like one of the greatest nights of my life I I'm having a hard time putting into words how to, how to describe exactly how awesome it was. Because unfortunately, I went there on very, like, the very fortunate part is I didn't sleep much the night before, so my memory's a little weird. I'm not, I, I, and I don't have great memory to begin with, so it's not like this crystal clear, like, I remember every word he said type of thing. But I didn't make a lot of videos, which, um, I posted all of them at this point on my Tumblr, so just look for them. I posted them on Tumblr and uploaded them to YouTube. So, um, yeah, why do I keep making faces? So this is why I shouldn't, like, this is why I need to stick to radio and not, like, video anything, because I just, I, like, look at my face and make faces. Anyway, um, so yeah, I posted the videos. There's one of the beginning of his speech where he's just talking about receiving an award. Um, a couple from the middle of his speech, one of them... I can't remember what the first one's about. The second one is when he's talking a lot about Oscar Wilde. Because, of course, he talked about Oscar Wilde. Because he loves Oscar Wilde, like I do. And he tells the best Oscar Wilde stories. And it's beautiful. And I was dying, and it was wonderful. He also talked about John Lennon and the Beatles. So it was Stephen Fry talking about Oscar Wilde, John Lennon, the Beatles, and humanism. And I was just... I was, like, dying. You don't even know. I, I was dying. Oh, and he talked about Sherlock Holmes. Yes. Yes, Tumblr. He has given us, a, he's confirmed his involvement. I mean, we knew he was going to be Mycroft, right? We've seen pictures. But he was talking about it because uh, they did a question-answer session, which, of course, I didn't ask. They had a bunch of Harvard kids asked him questions, and then they had some audience questions, which I didn't ask because um, I'm not smart enough to come up with a question for Stephen Fry to ask. And there were some, and plus the line was really long, and you only got to answer like a few people's questions. But anyway, um, somebody asked, uh, basically what, like, talking about how, um, when he played Stephen Fry, well, when Stephen Fry, okay, hold it, when Stephen Fry played Oscar Wilde in a movie called Wilde that I don't know if you've seen, but it's very, very good. It's on YouTube. Watch it. If you like Oscar Wilde and Stephen Fry at all. It's wonderful. Um... And he, I believe, was that the movie he was in with Jude Law? I could fact check. But basically, he had to kiss Jude Law in this movie. Yes, it was this movie, I believe, when he played Oscar Wilde and Jude Law played uh, Oscar Wilde's lover. And, yeah, he had to, like, he was talking about that movie and everything and how great it was to, like, make it and how lovely a person Jude was and blah, blah, blah. And, um, and I quote, I wrote it down. Okay, this because this is my notes. I took extensive notes um, of the whole of the whole thing, and by notes I mean like my usual types of scribblings where it's like th things he actually said and then kind of paraphrases of what he said and then me just being like everything is beautiful and nothing hurts. Um, but yes, I have it confirmed. I had to write it really tiny because I wanted to leave this page for him to sign if I got to meet him, which I did look nice. Um, but right there, it says, Jude is a fantastic kisser. Your lives have all been affirmed. All of you who love Jude Law, and I'm talking especially to you, Polly. 
Jude Law is, according to Stephen Fry, a fantastic kisser, and if I'm going to believe anyone about anything, I'm believing Stephen Fry. So, Jude Law is a fantastic kisser. And uh, the reason this came up talking about Sherlock Holmes, of course, is because Jude is Watson in Sherlock Holmes, the new movie, or, well, the new series. And he was talking about how it was, you know, it wasn't awkward to be back with him again, like, working on a film, and, like, it was just so fun, and, like, I was kind of, like, hyperventilating, so I don't, like, remember his exact phrasing, but he was talking about how nice it was to be, um, working with them and how they were both lovely people, uh, Jude and RDJ. He called him RDJ. He's like, I suppose that's what we call him, isn't it, RDJ? I was like, ah, um, Stephen Fry talking about Robert Downey Jr. Um, oh, and he was talking about, when he was talking about Sherlock Holmes, he was like, I'm playing Mycroft Holmes, Sherlock's smarter older brother, and I was like, Mycroft. <laughs> it was beautiful. So, yeah, that was the Sherlock Holmes reference of the night. He talked about the Beatles, talked about John Lennon, briefly. Most, the biggest reference, obviously, was Oscar Wilde, because he's Stephen Fry. He's, like, the modern Oscar Wilde. Really, honestly, he truly is, like, essentially, like, really. Um, let's see, what else do I have in my notes? He just said so much beautiful stuff. I mean, talking about humanism, and basically, if you don't know what humanism is, like, you probably should look into it, because it's a very interesting concept. Um, and basically, it's, humanism is, like, the way they described it, like, very, very simply, was good without God, but not so much, um, focusing on the without God part. Like, that wasn't, that's not the main, main focus. It's mostly that there's good, and human goodness, and innate human goodness, and it, it's, like, kind of not believing um, in organized religion and not believing in, you know, kind of the dogmatic things that we've been told for thousands of years. It's focused on reason and science and intellect. Essentially, essentially, the whole entire night was about intellect and romance over brute force and cynicism. Um, so how could it, it could not have been more perfect. And I wore my Doctor Who shirt and I had Ravenclaw earrings in and a sweater and it was why am I talking about what I was wearing um because it was cool um and this bow I wore this bow and I felt like really cool I have a right to feel cool when I'm seeing Stephen Pratt but anyway um so yeah the whole night was basically about intellect and romance over brute force and cynicism and yeah um and it was really just like, I don't know, it was, it was all about, in, ah, I have to like look at my notes, it was all about intellect, like some of the great things he said is, and like, he, like, what do you think, cause like, if you do not, if you don't know, Stephen Fry is like an atheist, um, just flat, I mean doesn't, but he also, what he emphasized was that like humanism, while it doesn't believe in religion, and like, doesn't believe, generally doesn't believe in a god, type figure and doesn't believe in traditional things. Wow, my dorm's noisy right now. Uh, at one in the afternoon on a Wednesday. Um, but basically he said, like, they're not going around, like, the, the part that really hit me was, like, how it talks, like, well, one of the parts that really hit me was how it talks, how he was talking about, it's not about preaching to other people. It's not about preaching. Like, humanism's not about preaching to all the Catholics or Christians or what, whatever. It's not about preaching to them like, you shouldn't believe in God, what you believe is wrong, blah blah blah. It's about, and I quote, um, that we want to be left alone by people who tell us how to live. And essentially, like, what he said over and over again through this whole thing was we're not preaching to people. And like, um, the quote that was up on Facebook, or Facebook, no, Facebook people wouldn't understand, no. Uh, well, some of them. Uh, Tumblr earlier when he said that, you know, you, you can't possess other people's minds. Like, you can't want to, like, you, have, you can't have an interest in owning the minds of others. Like, that's absurd. Like, that's, like, the main thing with humanism is that everybody has to, like, think for themselves and free thinking and it was just beautiful. Like, it was all these, and I'm so inarticulate right now. 
compared to how beautifully spoken he was. Just watch my videos and see how beautiful all that was. Um, 